One of the big concepts in the Star Wars franchise is, of course, the rule of two created by Darth Bane. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, I wanted to get into the subject of Kylo Ren as a character. Now, looking at Star Wars Episode 9, we do know that both J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio are creating a very interesting story as for the final film of the Skywalker Saga. Now, we also know that they're going to be using a lot of prequel trilogy continuity into Star Wars Episode 9 as a way to tie all nine movies together into one big movie. Now, looking at specifically Adam Driver, we do know that he's rehearsing a lot of scenes as we speak right now for some of the sequences to come for Kylo Ren in Episode 9. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set designs, the set leaks, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. One of which specifically has all to do with the character of Anakin Skywalker and Emperor Palpatine. Specifically, a description of Kylo Ren inside of Emperor Palpatine's throne room. During the events of Revenge of the Sith, in front of Kylo Ren are two figures, both of which appear to be Anakin Skywalker and Darth Sidious. Kylo witnesses the moment Anakin turns into Darth Vader as he kneels in front of the Emperor. Another description goes over that Palpatine's dialogue calling him Darth Vader is present in the sequence. This is likely a vision for Kylo Ren and not a dream sequence per se. So I wanted to go over a couple of pointers here that honestly really raises my interest. Now, we do know that Kylo Ren has this big connection to his grandfather, Darth Vader slash Anakin Skywalker. And I think that there's a main reason as to why Kylo would be seeing a vision of the very moment in which his grandfather Anakin turned to the dark side and became Darth Vader. I think he's going to learn more about his grandmother, and I'm not quite sure if they will explore that aspect in Episode 9 of Padme Amidala, or if Kylo Ren even knows about his grandmother, or if he will ever actually try to learn more about her. Maybe this is his way of actually learning more about Anakin's true intentions of becoming Darth Vader. Maybe they're trying to do something very similar to Dark Empire, where in a sense Luke turns to the dark side, but only does so in order to study and to get a real idea as to why his father turned to the dark side. What if they did something like this in a sense, where Kylo Ren was trying to learn exactly why his grandfather turned? and he learns about everything, all the different steps that he took into becoming Darth Vader and the true intentions of Anakin Skywalker and why he did what he had to do, and he eventually just gets lost into the dark side of the Force. So this storyboard description of Kylo Ren in this vision, seeing both Emperor Palpatine and Anakin, Palpatine telling Anakin to rise and calling him Darth Vader, to me is pretty poetic. I think it's a great way, a great example to show Kylo Ren. It's a great lecture in the form of a vision for Kylo Ren to tell somebody, to tell this individual that this is how your grandfather turned and his true intentions and why he turned and exactly the person who manipulated him. Now, maybe Kylo Ren knew about this before in the past, and this is just a flashback sequence in itself of him seeing a vision. Now, we've been hearing about this multiple times about Emperor Palpatine and his involvement in Star Wars Episode 9, and what better way to do this than to have Kylo Ren witness the very exact moment in which his grandfather turned to the dark side. To me, not only would it be a great lesson, but it would also be a great way in order for Kylo Ren to know exactly why Anakin Skywalker turned to the dark side of the force. And that's what I love about Kylo Ren, aside from the fact that he's not so much of an intimidating character, is that he does have that true connection to Darth Vader. As Han Solo said in The Force Awakens, there's too much Vader in him. So with that being said, I think that there's a lot to be explored when it comes to the character of Kylo Ren by J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. We do know that both of these writers will be taking Kylo in a completely new and original and unique direction and will be evolving the character significantly, which is another thing to really look forward to. I really am hoping that Kylo is going to be more around the lines of a Vader figure 
by the time Episode 9 comes around. After all, it is heavily rumored that this movie is going to be taking place five years after the events of The Last Jedi, and it's not out of the question really, because if you look at the time jump in between The Phantom Menace and The Attack of the Clones movie, I believe it's like 10 years? That's a massive time jump. So they can most certainly do five in the sequel trilogy, and that would be very much a, a great way in order to show how far our characters really have come, and exactly how long Kylo Ren has been the ruler of the galaxy, and that's one of the big leaks that we heard about in May of 2018, is that a lot of people view Kylo Ren as a good leader. He's not all that bad. In fact, he's a whole lot better than, you know, previous moments in which Darth Vader ruled the galaxy. Whereas here with Kylo Ren, a lot of people within the Resistance are questioning themselves as to why they are even fighting and resisting. So, guys, I would love to hear your input about all of this in the comments section. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.